Welcome to episode eight thirty five. Suleiman Karimov. Eight lessons. This is an outline of episode eight thirty five. Lesson one to lesson four. This is lesson five to lesson eight. Lesson one. He's a voucher oligarch. Why? Because he invests in distressed companies. Well, Russian oligarchs come in all shapes. The important thing to know is that they all made a huge fortune during the privatization of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s under Yeltsin. He was a poor economist making two hundred and fifty dollars a month in Dagestan before he moved to Moscow in the 1990s. Lesson two: He is the richest Muslim in the world, and in August 2020, is the second richest Russian billionaire. It's when Muslims are a minority in Russia, making 10 percent of the population. Suleiman Karimov made it in gold. Prince Alwalid made it with oil. Lesson three: He has many nicknames. Russian Riviera Playboy. Russia's richest civil servant, and now may I add one? He's Mr. Goldfinger of Russia. Lesson four: Living on the edge. He almost died in two thousand six. In two thousand six, the Russian Riviera playboy almost died in his Ferrari. He crashed into a tree in Nice. He survived. His girlfriend survived, but the car did not. The picture of the mysterious girlfriend. Lesson five: His source of financing is using collaterals. For companies on the verge of bankruptcy, Karimov uses asset as collateral to raise loans. Lesson six: His company is Nafta Masva. Uses holding company Nafta Masva by Polyes Gold. It really functions like a private equity firm. He's buying up failing companies with potential, revamping them and then selling them for a profit. Lesson seven: the importance of timing, because mining is a very cyclical business. Here's a chart of the price of gold in the last twelve years. Lesson eight: quick retreat. If it does not work, in 2010 he spent about 200 million dollars on football club Ansi Machatkala, attracting players like Samuel Eto and Roberto Carlos. Samuel Eto reportedly earning a world record salary of 20 million pounds per season. Two years later, he sold most of the players on a fire sale. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.